This time, I thought I'm going to go with something a bit different. So, for this video, I'm not going to use my tablet at all. Let's see what happens. So the very first struggle that came into my way was the size selection of the brush. Since my tablet has this awesome thing called pressure sensitivity, I'm always used to just press gently on the tablet. I always know that I'm gonna get at least a quarter of the actual picked size. So I had to try multiple sizes of the brush before I actually started doing the lines, since with the mouse it fills up the whole circle. In the end, I picked the smaller selectable size anyway because all the others seem a bit too thick. The second issue was of course the movement. I'm used to holding the pen, so that feels like I'm drawing on an actual paper sheet. Now, my mouse has a weird thing to go faster in one direction than another. I think it goes a bit faster when I move it horizontally than when I do vertically. This became a huge pain in the ass as soon as I started drawing, because I couldn't even draw a proper circle. But after a couple of minutes, I pretty much got used to it and overcame that problem as well. Now this character that I'm drawing right now is just someone that I randomly created. I thought about drawing a bit angry looking guy and giving him this green jacket and shirt. When I started coloring him, there was another problem with the pressure sensitivity. Every time I draw a gentle line on my tablet, the star and the end of it always fades in a pointy tip, so I have to be careful while coloring something. However, mouse doesn't support that, in which case, the star and the end of the lines were always circular and in the same size as every other part of the line. So that made me keep selecting between various brush sizes when I needed to color more detailed parts of the drawing. The last thing that I wanted to try to draw was a female body and pose to test out some of the mouse's features with accuracy. It didn't turn out that bad, actually, it turned out better than I expected myself. I also rather didn't really do the legs because I already knew that I'm gonna screw them up anyway. And in the end, I just did some simple shading and left it like that. So there you go. My awful attempt to draw with a mouse in its full entirety. Hope you enjoyed my horrible voiceover and I hope to see you next time.